Hey, welcome back. Uh, so, it is dark, or just just after dark, after dusk. Uh, what are we? 26, so day's getting a bit shorter. Uh, so a bit of a different one this time round. Um, I'll put a caveat on it. If you're not into guns or hunting or that sort of stuff, probably shut it off now because uh, this one's going to be about hunting and, and sort of pest control. I've had a few guys ask, you know, over the course of the 12 months or 18 months or whatever we've had the channel running about sort of pests and with the sheep and that sort of stuff. We are fortunate where we live on Australia, we don't really have any major predators as such, of tigers or wolves or, you know, um, in our area, like wild dogs are starting to become an issue in other areas and obviously the feral pigs um, are causing a fair bit of havoc as well in spots. Um, fortunately, we don't generally see, we have had a bit of a dog issue in the past, um, but it sort of come and went um, and then Obviously, <clears throat> the pig that you would have saw that we shot a couple of videos ago, that's the first pig I've seen here, but we're hearing reports of people starting to see more and more of them, so they are sort of on the move a bit. So the main pests we've got here are foxes. Um, so, uh, yeah, we don't probably do enough shooting or... Um, there is a lot of there is a baiting program, general a baiting program that goes on um, around the place. We don't sort of we don't see it's we probably should be a part of it basically, um, but we aren't. So um, we do do a bit of shooting, spotlighting. Um, I've got one of the kids that's pretty keen um, to go for a spotlight. So what we're going to do tonight, we probably we have missed the window, but there are still a lot of foxes around. We're seeing a lot during the day, and you know under lights. The, car lights and that sort of stuff at night um, on the roads. So we just thought we'd throw the light on and yeah, have a, have a look around and see whether we can shoot a few. Uh, so I'll just give you a rundown of what, what I run. Um, there are obviously newer, better systems, but we've been running this for a while and um, the setup on the ute and that. Uh, so the older, older I get, the warmer I want to stay. So I don't, uh, the days of standing up on backs of utes um, like we used to. Um, when we were younger, they were well and truly gone now. Um, so, run a Remington um, 700 rifle in 243. Uh, probably a bit overkill for foxes, but I'm not skinning them. Um, you know, it's good out to out, you know, 350 metres pretty comfortably. Um, and then we run a, a Trigicon scope on the top of it there, and it's got the the illuminated crosshairs in it, or it's actually got a triangle. I was, I was finding a few years back I was having trouble I'd, under the spotlight I'd lose the crosshairs in the, the scope I had so we spent a few bucks at the time and, and updated that so that's been really good um, and then on the ute, I don't know whether you I've probably lost the, the window here with the light um, I can, you can just see it uh, so we've got a magnetic, a spotlight with a magnetic base and the arm just comes down um, if I hang on, I'll be able to turn that on, might give us a bit of extra light, might not either. So basically, the light pivots down um, and just hangs on the outside of the window, and you just have your arm out the window, um, yeah, to to operate the spotlight. So um, you can flick it up out of the road, and um, but that just that's just there on a magnetic base. It used to have suction caps, and it was a bit better setup. I haven't. I just the suction caps were sort of perish, so we've gone to this magnetic base system. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if we get back into doing a bit, we'll have to do something about it because it's it's not real sturdy. Um, it'll stay on the roof, but it's um, yeah, the spotlight's going to wobble around a little bit. So uh, yeah, so anyway, we'll turn him off. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we'll just we'll see how we go. Um, hopefully, we see a few, and we're gonna I'm gonna grab the other camera. Oh, look out! Here's Jocks. Um, so I'm going to grab the other camera. Um, it's a bit better in the dark, and, and yeah, I'll get I'll get young Lexi, um, our oldest daughter, to to t hopefully take a bit of footage, and we can talk about them if we um, hopefully we'll we'll shoot a couple. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, we haven't come far. The house is literally just there, uh, and we've had our first scalp. So he's uh, uh, he was having a feed, poor bugger, having some dinner. Oh, goodness gracious. So, yeah, we might not show that side of him, but as you can see, he's pretty healthy. Uh, 
What is he? A uh, dog fox? Yeah. So, but yeah, no mange on them. They get it as a get a. It's a parasite. Um, we have had it in the dogs actually, um, called mange, and it does kill them eventually. Their tail, they lose all the hair off their tail. It's a pretty cool way to to go, actually. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep looking. But yeah, we're one from one at the moment. So I've got my little helper here. She's holding the torch. So um, yeah, we'll see if we can get a. We get another spot, another one. We'll see if we can get a bit of footage of what's going on. That's two. How do I stop it? Oh, you got another one. Oh. That was a headshot, that one. <laughs> so yeah, another dog fox. So we haven't gone very far, anyway. Alright, we'll keep looking. I'll play with this light. Where is he? There he is. No, he gone. The quarry there, so he's got they got a bit of cover. Need to be quicker. Not to hear him scare him, so we'll leave him alone. Mm, a bit of cover. Anyway, that's all right. Sneaky. There we go. Hmm. Must have disappeared. He'll be there somewhere. He's only got to turn around and you show us his bum and you can't see him, so without him looking at it us, it makes it a bit hard to see him. Anyway. All right. Where'd he go? My side's not good enough. Uh, there he is. Yeah, I can see him. Get him over there, can we? Yeah, it's a bit too far, I don't know. Hey? Might be a bit far. I'll see how good I am. I don't know. There he is. Yeah. In the middle of the light. Did you get it? I don't know. I didn't hear the... Hey, what, Lex? I reckon I might have got him. Grab a look anyway. Hey? Grab a look anyway. We're going to have a look. Oh, it's still alive, Dad. No, it's alright. He's still moving. Okay. Yeah, not long. His mouth's moving. Yeah, sure. So again, another dog fox. Yeah. He was out about. Oh, where are we? Yeah, he was out about a hundred meters. Um, yeah, just you know, just clipped him across the back. So I only just got him, but yeah. So three from three. We're going all right at the moment. But yeah, again, there's no mange about. The season, like everything else, the season's good, so the critters are doing all right as well. So, um, yeah, nice and fatty. We'll have mice and probably lamb and God knows whatever else to eat as well. So. Uh. Got a bit of cover here with the rice banks and the rice ground. But, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Is this the one they said before? Or? Yeah, it probably was, but he's... He's playing funny buggies on us. 
the reflectors the he's watching it's just the the winch on the there's an, a bay outlet there so that's what the reflector you might not be able to see it in the light you, in the camera they, they can they can oh, there you go uh, so that's what that is so that's not a fox um, foxes would be nearly impossible to shoot at night if their eyes didn't glow the way they do yeah There we go. We'll keep looking. Oh, I didn't actually. Let's get on here. You can turn that off if you like. Well, it's pretty safe to say the rifle's shooting straight anyway. That's that's four from four. Uh, I just Lexi just stayed in the ute. I had to jump over a fence to get this bloke, but uh, yeah, I'll grab him, bring him back a bit closer to the light so you can get another look at him. Actually, right. so yeah, again, pretty healthy looking. Um, yeah, so no, he just sat there. Probably only, you know, they'd be 12 months old. These foxes, so they they haven't been shot at. So when they see the light, they tend to sit. So it makes it makes it a bit easier on our front. You haven't got to sort of chase them, but. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll move on to the next farm. We'll go and see what we can we can see. But yeah, it's obvious there's plenty of cover for them. Um, so yeah, but they're just getting we're catching them out in the open a bit, so which is good. Anyway, we'll see see if we can find any more. Oh, wait, I think I can see it. Jeez, that. Did you get it? I don't know. I don't think I did. No, no, I don't think you did either. Is that it standing? No, that's a bush. We'll have a look. We go have a look. I just need that bar behind me. Camera, unfortunately. Sorry. There you go. It's like basically sitting down. Eh? Hey? It's like sitting down. There's a torch. Oh. So that's number five. We're not too sure. It's a bit easy to find out here in the crop, but uh, yeah, this is a vixen. A girl fox, this one. So, um, yeah, all the boys were actually out at the other farm now. We've come out here for a quick look. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So that's yeah, five, possibly six, but yeah, we couldn't find that other one. It was in some more little longer grass, but anyway, uh, yeah, we made a good job of them tonight anyway. Oh, there you go. Little rabbits. So we've got rabbits. We should have brought a little smaller rifle with us. We've got a bit of a rabbit plague going on out here with around the sheep yards. So yeah, there's half a dozen in the sheep yards as well, so. We might have to come out one night and shoot a few. Uh, yeah, it's sort of a bit expensive to be shooting them with this rifle, but uh, yeah, it's another one out there. They go pow! So, anyway, we might head for home. Yeah. Back at home base, so that was uh, yeah, pretty successful evening. We've only been gone sort of an hour and a half, so 
Uh, yeah, good to have a bit of father-daughter time, something different. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry, doing something different. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, look, it's, they're an introduced species and they do, I mean, they, they impact our business, but they give the sort of native wildlife a fair pizzling too, so it's good to, yeah, um, yeah, get a few less out of the road, but yeah, there was plenty, we didn't sort of see too many at the other farm, um, we just shot that one, and I had a shot at another one, but I don't know, couldn't find it in the longer grass. I'm not too sure. I didn't see it run off um, through the scope, but uh, we couldn't find it either. I didn't look too hard either. We might, I might look at the gate and feed sheep in the morning out there, so I might have an, another quick look. But uh, yeah, so anyway, but no, yeah, so look, something different. That's just part and parcel of, of sort of our job again um, is is vermin control. So. Uh, yeah, so we just need to probably get tackle those rabbits um, because they are they do they do breed pretty quickly the little little buggers and uh, yeah love digging holes and, and that sort of stuff they do do a fair bit of damage around the place so uh, yeah we'll have to have a crack at them one night too so anyway thanks again we'll see you in the next one ta da.